Jesus. Thank you, Red Devil. Of course, man, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy thing that's going on with this channel. Unmonetized. YouTube's not allowing me to monetize even though I applied twice. But the point is, is I'm getting recognized by a bunch of big people out there. And this is just insane. Back in 2015, SMG4 recognized this channel. And I want to show you something. I bought one of your shirts, man. Look, look, I bought your Steve shirt, man. This. I bought a medium size because, you know, I wear mediums. As of a month ago, June 2021, Simple Flips recognized this channel. I can't believe what my ears are hearing. In August of 2019, the late voice actor of Princess Celestia recognized me. Oh, oh I was questioning her. <laughs> 14, right? Is it 13, 12, 11? No, this is the only way it works, because watch, we just say, I'm sorry, there's no room. There's no one there. Let them out, let them out, let the people live. Let them live. This is just insane. Can't speed run. I'm decent at making bloopers, and I've made friends with some celebrities already. This is just insane. All right, so now we went from being recognized from Simple Flips, SMG4, to now being recognized by somebody from one of my favorite paranormal documentaries, Ghost Hunters slash Ghost Nation, as I should put it. So Jason from Ghost Hunters or Ghost Adventures was talking about, did I say Ghost Adventures? My bad. Ghost Hunters or Ghost Nation was talking about how he couldn't do a dance for, or for a rooter, rotor rooter for commercial and judging how I've seen 12 seasons of Ghost Hunters, I was like, let's not forget the old Jason Hawes, and this is what I posted. So, I took a video of one of the episodes I was hanging around on Daily Motion, and then I used a online video to GIF converter to turn that bandy cam snippet into a GIF, and then I posted it onto his thing, and 15 people thought it was hilarious. Actually, sorry, 18. 18 people thought it was funny. And then he's like, where did you find that? I love it. <laughs> and then he said, well, it's epic. Dude, the old school Ghost Hunters, seasons one through, I think, eight. Maybe even like one through four, maybe even one through five, all right? Were the absolute best start of sci-fi's Ghost Hunters. And, <laughs> and, uh, I've been a fan of the show probably since, like, god, I can't remember, it's been long. I think, I think I've been a fan of the series probably since, like, 2007, I want to say. I've been a fan of Ghost Hunter Hunters for quite some time, I don't remember how long, but we're talking when I used to record episodes every Wednesday to a VHS tape era back in the early 2000s. About a couple of months ago, I finally found one of these just lingering around on eBay, and I bought it fascinated me man i've had this one experience with the paranormal since 2009 i still cannot explain it to this day all i know for sure is i saw this full-bodied like gray mist figure at a family member's estate just like walk right in front of me and walk through a wall and it sent chills up my spine and it still leaves me asking what happened you know today now watch this You know, I do collect a lot of weird things, but honestly, I like to show support towards either shows or a lot of YouTubers or whatnot, which is exactly why I also have an SMG4 one. Support to SMG4. See, I got his hat. I got his jub dub down there. A couple of other things of his around here. I've been a fan of the show ever since uh, Brian Hornaw. I can't remember if that's his name. The dude that says, dude, run. Dude, run! I've been a fan of the show ever since that type of era, but... I've seen like 12 seasons when him and Grant were still going at it, doing the Ghost Hunters and whatnot. And that's how long I've been a fan of the show.
So it feels blessed to be, you know, mentioned by somebody that, you know, <laughs> I used to watch the show a lot on. 